Hey everyone, Nico Carver here. I just arrived at a very dark rural location right on the border of Oklahoma and New Mexico. I'm here for the Okie Tech Star Party and it's gonna be great. I'm gonna be here all week and I'm gonna share the experience with you. I've been here a few days now. We've had exceptionally clear weather. It's been an amazing star party. This is a Bortle One location. And you can see the extent of the star party below. There's plenty to do here. You, uh, you can go hiking during the day. There's uh, nature. I've seen giant grasshoppers, tarantulas. But the, the main event here is, of course, stargazing. And for me, astrophotography. And there are many other astrophotographers astrophot here, some with really cool setups that I've been uh, happy to explore with, with people. And so I think that's really the reason to go to a star party is to, to meet people and to uh, get fresh ideas because there's a lot of really excellent amateur astronomers and astrophotographers out there that, that come to these and are happy to share uh, both their views through sometimes giant Dobsonians, hand-built telescopes, really, really custom cool telescopes. And so there's, there's a ton to do, a ton to learn. There's also uh, usually scheduled talks. So I was one of the speakers at Okie Techs. I presented um, on wide field astrophotography. This was an amazing night, the one that I'll always remember. This is on the southern coast of Iceland. It's called the Jokil Sarlon Glacier Lagoon. And I call this my first star party because uh, you can really see there's a bunch of photographers over here. And they were from all over the world. I met people from Japan, Europe, uh, and people with all kinds of different setups. This time lapse was a little bit more challenging to put together because tours kept coming in on buses. And when the tour groups came out, they all had their cell phones and were taking flash photography. Um, and so whenever there was a flash in my time lapse, it would sort of really sort of distract from the beauty of the scenes. The question is, how do you tell how much light pollution is in the sky? There's a lot of good ways to do it. Um, one is just with our eyes. Uh, John Bortle developed the Bortle scale, which is a way to just do it with your eyes. And that ranges from Bortle 1 to Bortle 9. So here we're in a Bortle 1. When I'm in Boston, I'm in a Bortle 9, which means the brightest skies. And so uh, right now, it's it's the twilight hour. There's actually a, a giveaway going on right now. Uh, so a lot of people are that. But then right after the giveaway ends, they're going to come out here onto the observing field, um, start setting up their telescopes, getting ready for the night. This has been an amazing gift for me as someone who lives out on the East Coast. So, so you know uh, from my channel, if you've been watching, that a dark sky for me is like Bortle 4. Uh, and this, again, is a, was a Bortle 1 sky. So it's just, it's really something else when you see that many stars and, and so many uh, deep sky objects that I'm familiar with, I can, I can make out just naked eye. Um, like you can sort of see the outline of the North American Nebula and Cygnus. You can see the, the lagoon is, is pretty well defined. Um, the, the star clouds in the Milky Way, of course, really pop out. Um, there's, but there's plenty of others. The uh, M31, M33, so many cool things just to, if, just to sit under this sky and just, and just take it in.